Cool. Cool. Uh, age 11, subdomain visit count. A website domain like discuss.leco.com consists of various subdomains. At the top level, we have com. At the next level, we have leco.com. And, and at the lowest level, discuss.leco.com. When we visit a domain like discuss.leco.com, we will also visit the parents' domain leco.com and com implicitly. Now, call a counted account period domain to be a count representing the number of visits this domain received followed by a space followed by the address. Uh, an example of a counted count period domain might be 9001 discussed leadcode.com. Well, given the list CP domains of count period domains, we would like to a uh, list of count period domains that explicitly counts the number of visits to each subdomain. Okay. Yeah, okay, seems straightforward-ish. Just kind of put, pause everything and put things in tables and stuff like this. Uh, okay. Mm, and then we have to output them in a good way. But, yeah, but that should be okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Mm, And domain, let's see what will work. Oh. Mm. Yes, we just have to split the domain to different ones. So, mm. Kind of want them backwards though, right? So, okay. Mm -hmm. CP so okay. Mm -hmm. Count. Okay. And now we have to set up current domain. This is really so. Okay, and now uh, that should be good. We have to convert it back. So, but if I write that logic, let's take a look at the test cases and see if I print them correctly or relatively correctly. Do I have to sort these in any order? Okay. Uh, okay, so the com com uh, sums correctly. So th that was the thing I was looking for, just to make sure. And I think everything else should be okay. So let's convert this for and keys. Uh, let's just. So the key is the domain, so we solve that again. Um, oh, right. Cool. 
cool, 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 cool. Uh, okay, wow, they actually also, uh, Lico, I mean, yeah, Lico made the thing smarter with testing now, I guess, where they actually tell you, even though the order is not the same, because I think that was the thing that I always had issues with. But yeah, okay. Uh, I think maybe just one more case for just empty cases. Probably good. Oh, I didn't actually didn't notice this, but I guess that is okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I guess the the trick to this one is just that the complexity doesn't really matter as long as you're not doing something crazy. It's just uh, everything I've done is roughly linear, unless you want to count like the pen and uh, 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 the string concatenations, which it, if you want to be technical about it, it's not strictly linear, but but uh, but but everything is relatively fast for uh, straightforward, and since n is only a hundred and there are only two periods, it should be relatively okay. So uh, yeah. actually, I even did it a little bit on the faster side for whatever reason because I didn't even. Spent that much, but my memory usage is bad because I maybe I have you could do better with using two data structures, but eh, I'm not gonna worry that much about it. But yeah, over a straightforward problem is because they don't have any real tr trick cases. Um, and yeah, and this is something that I definitely would just practice on in good practice because I definitely feel like I've seen something similar on these things where it's just like I mean, it's straightforward enough that like. You know, given a string, parse it a little bit, and then, you know, do some easier operation, and then kind of figure out, how, you know, print it out, right? So I think that's, you know, I mean, you should know how to do that if if you're interviewing and practice it. Not sure why there's so many downloads though, actually. Hmm. Oh well. Okay, let's do another easy.